Thank you, Mr. President, uh, dear Commissioner, dear colleagues. Uh, let me reiterate uh, and echo uh, what Mr. Burikofer has done uh, with his uh, very comprehensive uh, approach when it comes to uh, this report, and thank him uh, once again. Indeed, I want to start by saying that connectivity is a key priority in the European Union's work as a global actor. Asia is the biggest trade partner of the EU, and there is no doubt that we need an effective and sustainable strategy, including on connectivity, which is of uh, economic as well as geopolitical uh, importance. European uh, Union and uh, Asia account uh, for 70% of the global population and uh, 60 of the world GDP, with large parts of uh, potential between both regions uh, untapped due to uh, lacking physical and digital infrastructure. Europe already has a good uh, examples of connectivity partnership uh, with Japan, for example, and we should build on this and establish more such partnership with uh, other Asian uh, countries. Of course, the EU connectivity strategy must be based on EU's uh, fundamental values and should serve the, the goals of uh, our key policies, such as European uh, Green Deal, uh, the digital transformation, and uh, uh, the global promotion of human rights. The European Parliament report that we debate today clearly underlines this, and it aims to connect people, to empower uh, our uh, continents, and to connect partners to, to work together. Uh, this strategy uh, is not reinventing a wheel, uh, but it brings uh, our efforts more uh, strategically together and aims to tap into uh, unused potential. Thank you.